not going to be expensive. So they'll take it to their range and they'll dispose of it with their guy free of cost. So we can get an alternative free of cost, that's fine. But <coughs> that's hard to be free of cost. Yeah, free is. Chief, the one thing I would ask is a letter from them stating that we're not liable. Sure. And they're transporting or anything that blows up and someone gets hurt and can buy it, say the city gave us whatever. Yeah. Other than that, sure. I can just go with you All right, so be prepared for that. I, I want to mention, uh, Joe spoke No? Jeff? On Saturday, if you're aware of that, that major windstorm we had that blew that tree down on the, what was that, 528? 500 block of Front Street, anyway. It took <coughs> two porches off there. Pretty fortunate nobody was hurt. But anyway, I just wanted to mention to your department, Joe, Mr. Swope was down there for quite a while helping us, and Jim was down there, and we caught in the cheap, brought some, I guess you got all the fire people to come down to block the street off, so. Yeah, he called me, and I told him it was okay to get somebody in to cut the tree down. <coughs> we, actually, we actually had two people there, and we had a bid right in front of the building, but they didn't tell you that. <laughs> and I also want to do, I have a letter here. Uh, they asked me to read to council a recent inspection of rental properties by the code office. Uh, Joe Swope and Mike Rhodes want to compliment them on the inspection, recognize your courtesy and pleasance with my tenants. While you've received many complaints over these inspections in the course of their, these officers doing their job, it is a necessity and appreciated by some of us. And ex-Mayor Woodman sent that to me. So I just wanted to read that. You don't always get the good things to read about, so we, we ought to have the opportunity to tell the people when they do a good job also. Um, the spring cleanup dates, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., April 23rd, 25th. 30th and May 2nd. Uh, there's a there's a poster up here that uh, on the Got Drugs on April 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the police station, we will be accepting any drugs, any, any you know, used drugs, old drugs you have in your medicine cabinet, things you want to get rid of. Uh, you know the thing now is don't go dump in the ground or dump down the toilet for they end up on our, our water system. So anybody wants to bring that in, there will be somebody down here accept them. Uh, there's nothing, you don't have to sign anything, I already just bring them in, right? Just bring them in, drop them in a box, no question. Yeah. Okay, again, that's the 27th, Saturday the 27th, from uh, 10 to 2 o'clock. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. Are they having the uh, soapbox derby? We're going to have a soapbox derby. We're not sure if the police department is going to sponsor it. We're looking at another sponsor, but the goal is to have that. The Eagles are going to be sponsored after. Okay, the reason I don't remember seeing that on that list was closing streets. We might have added it because. Oh, okay. Remember, Kevin, I remember Kevin on the phone said about one or two of them. I don't know if that was one of them. We'll check that out and see if that. That's the. Well, that'd be the same weekend as the celebration. I think it would be part of the city celebration because it's always that Sunday. Okay, anything else? Well, thank everybody for coming. It's me and the <laughs>